Hello to everybody. <laughs> Hello and welcome to today's teaching which is being presented to you by For Those Who Choose Ministries Incorporated. My name is Elder Aaron Cook and I am a co-founder and one of the lead instructors here at For Those Who Choose. And teaching with me today is my wife, Hello. Annette Cook. Here she is right here. <laughs> who is also a co-founder and our daughter, Miss Anisha Tillman, right Hello. here, who is also a part of our instructor team. Now today we continue and will conclude this series under the Rediscovering the Kingdom umbrella called The Purpose and Power of Kingdom Faith. Yay! Yay. It's been a great series. It, it has, has been. been. We started, I think we started back in February, the yeah. first of February, so we finally finished it. Yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 So each week since the beginning of this series, we've asked the question, what is faith? Mm -hmm. And we answer by saying, simply put, faith is defined as belief, mm -hmm. to believe. Yes. And belief is defined as to believe also to be persuaded of, like mm -hmm. Paul says, to be fully persuaded, mm -hmm. and therefore to place confidence in or to trust. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to know and understand that the greatest thing a person can lose in life on earth is a loss of belief. That's right. Now, as we said before, when a person loses belief, he or she loses hope. Mm -hmm. And when hope is lost, then purpose is canceled. And meaning has no definition. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Each week we've said that belief is the course of reason and the raw material of commitment, persistence, and faithfulness. Mm -hmm. When belief is lost, then life has no explanation. So no matter what you might lose in the midst of daily life, please never lose your faith in life. Amen. Now this series on the purpose and power of kingdom faith has been about this very challenge. Mm -hmm. It has been about the need to not just have faith, but the vital and the important need to have the right kind of faith. That's right. As we said each week during this series, so much of what we call faith today is simply convenient expectations. Mm -hmm. So in other words, we only believe what we want, mm. what we expect, and are willing to accept. What we. Right. Right. That's where <laughs> we you get messed mess up. up. Right. 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So our belief is based on what we define and interpret as good, right, and acceptable. Therefore, instead of believing in the sovereign nature and all-knowing perspective of the Creator, our faith is only valid as long as our experience are in keeping with our definition of good. Mm -hmm. So our hope has been that this series has challenged the quality and the nature of faith you have inherited from our modern day belief system. Mm -hmm. It has tested them against the record of the time tested champions of a faith in the Bible that overcame every type of challenge in their time. Mm -hmm. Our intent in this series on the purpose and power of kingdom faith has been to cause you to question the kind of faith you have embraced mm -hmm. and to see whether it is of the quality that can stand the test of disappointments, mm -hmm. the unexpected crisis, moments filled with the silence of God. Are you hearing God? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the loss of anything you hold dear. So again, we ask, what kind of faith do you have? Can you believe in the dark, what you were told in the light? Mm. And dark wow. is means, there means going through trials and tribulations and hard times and chaotic circumstances and days that make you fearful and cry and pain. That's right. So can you believe in the dark which you were told in the light according yes. to God's word? Can you believe in hope even when hope stops believing in you? Mm. When doubt can, when in doubt, can you still have faith? Yes. When you're in doubt. And you know what brings doubt? Pain. Mm. Yes, Pain sure will. will make sometimes doubt. So you have to be a person of faith. That's right. The God kind of faith. That's, That's right. right. Now, the goal of this series has been that you rediscover the faith of the lost culture of the kingdom of heaven and begin living at a level of life that, that does not get bogged down in the constant changes of life on earth. Mm -hmm. Also, please recognize that the kingdom of heaven is a country. Yes. It is the invisible realm where God lives right now mm -hmm. as we speak. Mm -hmm. Now, just like every other country, the kingdom of heaven has a currency. The word currency is defined as something that is used as a medium of exchange, mm -hmm. such as money. Mm -hmm. Well, the currency of the kingdom of heaven is faith. faith. Yes. 
The <laughs> essence of this kingdom currency is that nothing in the kingdom can be experienced or appropriated without believing it is true mm -hmm. and expecting it is your right as a citizen to receive it. That's right. Now, the kingdom is activated by believing it is real, relevant, and present. Yes. We must believe that the kingdom government and its constitutional promises, having full conviction that it will function in your life both now and in the future. Yes. So our primary objective for this series has been that you will be increased with knowledge, understanding, and the wisdom of God's original intent and purpose of faith as a kingdom citizen. Our hope is that it will help restore the power of kingdom faith in your life. Amen. Amen. Now, the content of this series has been taken directly from the book called Rediscovering Faith. Understanding the Nature of Kingdom Living. The book was written by our mentor, the late, the late great Dr. Miles Monroe. Monroe. Yes. And we hope that you have also been reading this book as well as you have followed along in this series to obtain an even greater knowledge of um, understanding and of kingdom faith. Amen. 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 So now as we do each week, we also want to remind you that the kingdom is God's greatest desire and passion for you and I. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it's important that we study the kingdom. Yes, right. it is. We are God's children, all of us. That's yes. right. And his desire is that we would rule this earth and that we would reign in life with the influence of heaven. That's right. God wants the environment of his influence, which is his government, and the economy of heaven to come back to the earth mm -hmm. as he originally intended, purposed, and planned from the very beginning. Yes. God wants his heavenly kingdom or his heavenly government to be manifested in the earth mm -hmm. through you and I. Amen. And God's desire is that his kingdom government be manifested in the hearts and the minds of we his children mm -hmm. to the point that we take on his culture yes, yeah. his nature mm -hmm. right. his morals mm -hmm. his standards and his values so that the culture of heaven is manifested throughout the entire right. earth that's Amen. right that's right so as we've said many 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 times before mm -hmm. hand over fist as yeah. people say mm -hmm. culture is not in the land mm -hmm. But instead, culture is in the, the people, people of the land. That's right. Amen. So when you possess the culture of the king of heaven, you will indeed be able to manifest heaven's culture in the earth. That's Amen. the only way it's going to be That's seen, right? That's the only way it's going to be seen way. and experienced. That's, That's right. right. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth just, just like it is in heaven. heaven. <laughs> now, for those of you who are joining us live today, we ask that you join, join the, the conversation. conversation. Come on in. Come on in the room. Come on in. <laughs> Where the table is spread. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness. <laughs> so all throughout this last <laughs> session, <laughs> we ask that you share your thoughts and your questions with us. And at the end of each session, we always have an open forum. And it's during that time we will respond to any questions that you may have. Our desire is that you walk away from these teachings with the knowledge and understanding that will allow you to apply what you are learning. Yes. That's the key of being able to apply what you're learning right. to your everyday life. That means Amen. being able to do it. That's, That's right. right. Not just know it, but to do what you're learning. Amen. Amen. That's the wisdom piece. That's the wisdom. Exactly. Right. Amen. So we talk about this often, but it's so very important. Mm -hmm. Remember the parable of the sower, mm -hmm. which is in the book of Matthew chapter 13. Mm -hmm. Jesus explains that the seed is the, the word, word of the, the kingdom. kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's right. No matter which translation you look it up in, it mm -hmm. says the word of the kingdom. I That's checked right. it out myself. Go Amen. read. If you don't believe us, go read it. Mm -hmm. Jesus explains <laughs> that the seed is the word of, of the, the kingdom, kingdom. and how the evil one is Satan. That's, That's right. right. And he tells how Satan comes immediately mm -hmm. to steal the, the word, word of the kingdom, kingdom when you, you don't, don't understand, understand it. it. That's right. That's how important knowing knowing about the kingdom heaven is. He mm -hmm. doesn't send a demon nope. or any of his imps. He comes himself That's right. to steal the word of the kingdom when mm -hmm. you don't understand it. That's mm -hmm. right. So mm -hmm. again, we urge you like we do every week every mm -hmm. week to not leave this session today without mm -hmm. having a thorough understanding of everything that we discuss. Mm 
Amen. So again, please join the conversation. Join the conversation. Come on in. <laughs> Type your questions or comments in the comment section, and we have a team of people who will be able to share them with us. Mm -hmm. Also, if you don't mind, while you're watching, go ahead and hit the like button and the share button while Amen. you're here. Share this message with others who may want to learn more about the kingdom. It is for, for those who choose. Amen. 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 <clears throat> now, before we move <laughs> into our lesson, let's officially open our session in prayer. Let's petition the government of heaven to give the Most High King of Heaven permission to manifest his presence in and through this teaching today. Amen. Amen. So, Anisha, we're going to ask you to lead us in prayer. Amen. 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 And those of you who are watching with us, we ask that you pray with us as well. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that we come before you once again. Yes, Lord. Lord, we always come into your presence offering up thanksgiving, yes. offering up praise and honor and glory unto your name, Father God. Yes. For you are worthy of all the praise, all the honor, all the glory. We magnify you, we exalt yes. you, and we extol your holy and everlasting name, yes. Father God. Yes. For you are King of kings, you are Lord of lords. You are the great I am. Yes. You are El Shaddai, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, and so many, 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 many other things. But you yes. again are the great I am. Hallelujah. You said I am that I am. Yes. And we thank you for being anything that we could ever need, ever want, ever desire, anytime, anywhere that we need it, Father yes, God. Father. We thank you for being a mother to the motherless and yes. a father to the fatherless, Father yes, God. Father. We thank you for being the very lover of our souls, Father Hallelujah. God. Yes. And we thank you for being Abba Father. Yes, we thank Lord you for Jesus. being our source and yes. our sustainer, Father yes. God. We thank you, Father, for continually having your hand on each and every single one of our yes. lives, yes. each yes. and every single day. Yes. And yes. we thank you for your unconditional love that you show towards us each and every single day, Lord yes. God. Oh, we thank you for not throwing us away when we do, mm. th do wrong, Father God. We thank yes. you for never giving up on us, but we thank mm. you for always seeing purpose in us, Father yes. God. Hallelujah. We thank you for always seeing Seeing what you created and what you desired for us to be, even when sometimes we don't see it in ourselves, Father God. We thank you, Father God, mm -hmm. for even sending your son, Jesus Christ, to this earth yes. to die for our sins. And not yes. only to die for our sins, but to cleanse us of all sin and unrighteousness yes. and to reconcile us back to you, Father yes. God, and put us back in our place as citizens of the kingdom, Father God, Hallelujah. here operating Hallelujah. in this earth yes. and as sons and daughters of the Most High King, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this session and this time today, Father, yes. for you knew that we would be here before yes. the foundations of the world, Father God, yes. before we were even created. You knew that this time would come, that we would be sitting here at this table yes. speaking to a multitude of people, people through yes. the internet father god yes, father Jesus. we thank you right now when we ask that you would have your way have during your this way, session father, have father we thank you for your holy spirit and yes. we invite your holy spirit into this place today father yes, god Jesus. holy spirit have your way father have your way father holy spirit speak through each and every single one of us that is sitting at this table yes. we avail ourselves to be used by you yes. we are your mouthpiece father god yes, use Jesus. us to decree and declare what thus saith the, the lord, lord father Hallelujah. we thank you for your word though your word that is sharper than any two-edged sword father god we thank you for your word that is truth father god and i pray that as people are hearing truth today that their lives will be changed father yes. god yes, father, father I thank you for removing the scales from their eyes, Father God. I yes, thank you for Jesus. plucking the wax from out of their ears so yes, that they may be Father. able to hear, Father God, yes. that it will take root and grow and bear fruit in their lives and be manifested in their lives, Father God. And I pray that as people hear the word of the kingdom that is going forth, from for those who choose today and any other day, I pray that people will begin to change. I pray that their lives will begin to change yes, so Father. that they themselves will be able to manifest the culture and of the, the kingdom. kingdom of heaven Hallelujah. here in the earth, which is what you desired Hallelujah. from the very beginning, Father God. Yes, Father, Father, we daily pray that your kingdom come, your that will your will be done Hallelujah. here in the earth just as it is in heaven, yes, Father God. Hallelujah. And Father, we continue 
to lift this nation up before yes. you, Father oh, God. Yes. Father God, there is so much going on. Mm -hmm. There are earthquakes going on. Yes. Yes. There are there are firestorms that are yes. happening across the yes. country, Father God. There is so much going on, yes. Father God. But you said in your word, if your people who were called, called by, by your name, name would humble themselves and pray and seek your, your face and turn, turn from, from their, their wicked ways, ways that you would hear from heaven Hallelujah. and you would come down and you would heal the land, Father yes. God. Hallelujah. So, Father, as Thank kingdom Lord. citizens, Lord. as the ones that you have set in this earth to have yes. dominion over the earth, Father yes. God, yes. we yes. give you the permission, permission to intervene, to impact yes. and influence yes. the affairs yes. of this entire earth, Father yes. God. Hallelujah. Father God, we know that you desire that no man yes. should perish, yes. Father God. Yes. So, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus Amen that you would Jesus. send and raise up kingdom citizens Hallelujah. all throughout this country, all throughout the systems of the world, yes, Father God, yes. that would show forth and decree and declare yes, the kingdom Lord of heaven Jesus. has arrived, that the kingdom yes. of heaven yes. is here, Father yes. God, and that will draw men, and that your Holy Spirit will be, that will draw men, yes, Father yes. God. Father, we pray that people will come to know who you are, yes. Father God. So that you can truly desire and have yes. what it is that you said in your word was going to happen. That the earth would be a mirror reflection of, of heaven, heaven, Father yes. God. Yes. We yes. pray yes. that yes. you would continue to draw men by your spirit. Yes. Raise up kingdom citizens in the political systems, yes. Father, Father God. Yes. Raise up kingdom citizens in the education mm. world, yes. Father Lord God. Jesus. Raise up kingdom citizens in the sports arena, mm. Father yes. God. Raise up kingdom citizens in the medical field that yes. know that yes. you yes. are yes. a healer, Father Hallelujah. God. Yes. That you can do all things but yes. fail, Father God. Mm. That can that can heal cancer where people thought it was impossible. Mm. Yes, that can Father. bring people back to life even when people thought they would be dead, yes, Father God. That would heal people's bones. That would reset their yes. bodies, yes, Father God. Lord back Jesus. and functioning Hallelujah. in the way that, that you designed it to function, yes, Father Lord God. Yes. We pray that you will raise up kingdom citizens in our cities, yes. in our nations, yes. in our towns, in our yes. communities, mm. Father God. Yes. So that your kingdom will come and that your yes. will will be, will be done here on this earth yes, because Father. we are manifesting your culture here in the mm. earth father god that is our prayer that is our heart's yes. desire yes, father is, god Lord. and father we know that you can do this father yes. god we believe you and we have faith in yes. you and we know that if we pray in accordance with, with your, your will, will you yes. said this is the confidence that we have yeah, in you yeah. that if we pray in accordance with your yeah. will that you, you hear us father yes. god and we can know that our petitions that have been granted, granted father yes. god yes. so we thank you for granting you. our Hallelujah. petitions on this day father yes. god Hallelujah. we thank you for being a doer of your word yes, father, father god yes. we thank you for every word that comes out of your mouth goes out and accomplishes everything that you send it out to do father mm. god and that it does not return back to See, you boy. void father god yes. we thank you thank we you. honor you and yes. we glorify yes, we do, you god. father god yes. and again we pray for this session today yes. we pray for the teachers of this yes, hour father Lord Jesus. we thank you for crowning them from and anointing them from the Lord crown Jesus. of their heads to the very soles of their feet, yes. Father God. We thank you for Aaron Cook. We thank you for Annette Cook. And Father, we thank you for what you are continuing to do in their lives, Father God. We pray that you will continue to bless the work of their hands, Father God. We pray that the people will rise up and that their children will rise up and call them blessed because they are people who have hearts after you, Father God. And Father, we continue to pray that as your eyes roam to and fro on the earth, yeah, for people whose hearts are pure perfect. and perfect towards you, that Hallelujah. your eyes will always rest on us, Father Hallelujah. God. That is our prayer and our yes, heart's desire is, yeah. is to glorify you and yes, magnify Lord you Jesus. in everything that we do, Father yes, God. Yes. So Father, we continue to thank you. Thank you we Father. give you the praise. Yes, we honor Lord. you. Yes, we glorify we you and we magnify you. It's in Jesus' precious Jesus and holy name, name that we do pray. Yes. Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord, in the name thank of you, Jesus, yes. Lord, for bringing us here another week, Father. We yes, came Father. to believe. Yes, Father. We came to receive. Yes. And Father, where we have need, we came to, to be change. changed. Yes, Lord. And the devil cannot stop us. Yes. By your help, Father, we shall receive. Yes. Shall receive. We shall believe. Yes, shall believe. And we shall be changed. Yes. In change. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And everybody say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, God. Wow.
Amen. Oh, I feel the spirit of the Lord in Amen. here. I'm Thank telling you, it's hovering over us. Amen. Thank the you. spirit of God is is Thank just you, hovering. Lord. So I'm 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 excited. I'm yeah. excited Amen. because whenever Jesus. we get into the Word of God, God begins to reveal things yes, to us Lord through Jesus. revelation and illumination knowledge. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so I'm ready to, to see what God has to say today. Like Marvin Gaye used to sing, what's going on? <laughs> Amen. So now, before we get into our new content for this week, let's begin by reviewing the key concepts we covered last week. Amen. Last week, we continued in our final <laughs> subtopic of this series, and it is called Faith That Overcomes the World. Amen. We begin by saying that proving the genuineness of our faith is extremely important mm -hmm. because there are many so-called that you hear in God, there are many so-called believers whose faith is false or who, or who have confused or misguided conceptions of faith. Mm. Mm. So last week we said false faith may talk big mm -hmm. and sound like the real thing, mm -hmm. but it will never survive the proving, refining fires of tribulation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We said that talk is cheap and often shallow. Mm -hmm. Faith talk must be backed up by faith walk. Amen. Amen. Can you walk what you say? That's Amen. right. That's it. Remember Paul's words in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 7, where he says, we live by faith and, and not, not by, by sight, sight or Amen. what we see. You know? That's right. And that's important because if we operated by what we saw, Satan would put things in front of our eyes that would cause fear, doubt, and unbelief yeah. at all times. And instead of us going towards and believing God's mm -hmm. word, we would go away from God's word. Yeah. Yeah. But he does that. He actually does it he all does the it time. All the time. But you have to know that's why it's important for us to know the word of God ourselves. Right. Yeah. Right. Understand the power and authority that God has given us. That's yes. Right. That's where your faith kicks in. That's right. Yes. Amen. That's why Amen. he tells us to study to show yourself, yourself approved. approved. A workman that should not be ashamed. That's Amen. right. Amen. So in, in, a, in a similar vein, he wrote in the book of Galatians chapter 5, verses 16, So I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify or fulfill the desires of the sinful nature or the lust of the flesh. That's right. Then we said that kingdom faith rarely takes the easy path because mm -hmm. that is the way of the world. Mm -hmm. And we don't operate according to the world or like the world. That's right. right. And we read that what Jesus said, we read what Jesus said, Related to this statement in the book of Matthew chapter 7 in verses 13 and 14, he says, Enter through the narrow gate. Mm -hmm. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it. Mm -hmm. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only a few find it. Wow. So let me give you an example of what that broad gate is. That broad gate is anything. You can do anything you want to do. Mm -hmm. You can do anything you want to do whenever you want to do it, however you want to do it. Anything. Then that's, right. a, that's, a that's definition the broad gate. Of lasciviousness. That's exactly Ooh. what lasciviousness it is. Lasciviousness means yes. you, you can do anything, anytime, any way, anyhow, whatever the flesh right. wants, that's what you do. And he says that leads to the path of destruction. Right. Mm -hmm. But narrow the gate, and he says few will find it. That's right. That's a sad statement. That's if right. only few will find, find it. That's why what we just read is important. The, 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 and, and King James says, if you walk in the spirit, you then you shall not, not fulfill, fulfill the lust of the flesh. flesh. That's Amen. right. That's right. So last week we said many people assume faith to be nothing more than mental assent to or agreement with a set of belief statements. But true faith is so much more. That's right. Mm -hmm. We said true faith not only affects the way we think, and believe, but also how we live and how we act. Mm -hmm. True faith transforms us from the inside out mm -hmm. and always reveals itself through right speaking and right living. Mm -hmm. And we read a related passage in the book of James chapter 2 verses 14 through 18. James says this, What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but, ha have faith but has no deeds? Mm. Can such faith save him? All right, so he gives us an example. He says, suppose a brother or sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you say to him, go, I wish you well, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about his physical needs, what good is it? Right. So good. And he probably be looking at you like, right, he's on the street. Right. No clothes, no food. no food. And you telling him be well. Be, be well, be, right. Be warm be, and be well warm, fed. Right, and not giving him anything. So in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing God? That's right. Mm -hmm. 
But someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by what I do. Amen. We said true faith and actions go together. That's right. right. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 15 through 21, Jesus says this, Watch out for false prophets. Mm -hmm. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Mm -hmm. But their fruit, you will recognize them. By their fruit, you're going to recognize That's them. That's right. That's right. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Mm -hmm. Can't do it. It's every impossible. tree, it is impossible. That's right. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the what? Into fire. the fire. Mm. Thus, mm. by their fruit, you will recognize them, or by their fruit, you will know them. Mm -hmm. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Now, the tests and trials of life quickly weed out the false from the true. When it comes to faith, mm -hmm. the false have no staying power. Mm -hmm. Last week we said Jesus drew this distinction clearly in his parable of the seeds and the sower. And we read this passage in the book of Matthew chapter 13 verses 3 through 9 and verses 18 through 23. In verse 3 through 9, he says, we're talking about Jesus, mm -hmm. a farmer went out to sow his seed. Mm -hmm. As he was scattering the seeds, some fell along the path, mm -hmm. and the birds came and ate it up. Mm -hmm. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. Mm -hmm. It sprang up quickly because, because the soil was shallow. But listen, but when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, mm -hmm. and they withered because they had no, no roots. Mm -hmm. Other seeds fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Mm -hmm. Still other seeds fell on good soil where it produced a crop a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Mm. Whoever has ears, let them hear. This is what Yeshua is telling us yes. today. So in verse 18 through 23, Jesus is explaining the meaning of this parable. He says, listen, mm -hmm. then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears a message about the kingdom, the kingdom. and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown along the path. Mm -hmm. The seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy, but since they have no root, they last only a short time. Mm -hmm. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the seed falling among the thorns refer to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. Mm -hmm. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding 160 or 30 times what was sown. Now, after reading these passages, we said, just look at all the testing words in this story. Rocky, mm. scorched, mm. choked, troubled, persecution, <laughs> yep. worries, deceitfulness of wealth. Mm -hmm. We said these are the kinds of things that separate the true from the false. Yes. Oh. See, many people have shallow faith with little root of death. They seem fine for a while as long as things go well. But the moment they hit a mm. patch of rough water, their faith is exposed for what it really is, mm. a shallow, bless me mentality that is completely inadequate for handling the normal tests and challenges of life. Mm. Then we said there are others who seek to use faith for their own purposes, such as the attainment of a worry-free life mm -hmm. or the acquisition of wealth. And mm -hmm. a lot of people are in this for wealth. That's or money. Yeah. right. Amen. So when neither of these things, listen, because I want you to get this in your spirit. When neither of these things materializes, they quickly drop their faith and move on to something else. Why? Because they weren't there for the wrong purpose. Yes. Only true faith holds out until the end and enjoys the blessings and reward of an abundant harvest. Mm. So plant your feet on solid ground. Anchor your faith in the rock who is Jesus Christ. Yes. Trust in him alone because he will never fail you. Are you hearing God? Amen. Jesus will never, never fail you. That's right. So as you stand firm in his strength, you will bring him glory. That's right. People will praise God on your behalf when they see you go through tests. They'll say, wow, 
Your God made you strong. Yes. I thought you were going to lose it, but he brought you through it. Mm. I have a testimony about that because that's the same thing I just went through. And it seemed like there was no way in the world that I was coming out of what I went through. Mm. Like I said last week, for four weeks I was in a wheelchair and on crutches. Not and every weeks, step, I mean four months. Four yeah. months, that's right. right. And I, I, I want to correct that. Right. <laughs> I don't want to short. I don't want to short circuit myself or God. That's it was right. four months, not four weeks. Amen. In a wheelchair and on crutches, but I praise God every day. I believed in His Word every day. His Word. One of the main scriptures was the Lord said, "I'll restore your health. And I'll heal all of your wounds." Said yes. the Lord God of Israel. He said, "No weapons formed against you shall prosper." He never told us that the weapons would not form, yes. but He said, "If they form, Aaron, they, they will not, not prosper. prosper." He said, "A thousand shall fall at your side, ten, ten thousand at your right hand, hand, but it shall not come near you." That's he right. said, "The young lions may hunger and lack, mm -hmm. but them that seek the Lord shall want for no, no good thing." thing. That's then right. King David says, "I was a young man." Uh huh. Now I'm old, uh -huh. and I have never, never seen, seen the righteous, righteous forsaken, forsaken, nor their seed have to beg for bread. bread. So God's word is true, and That's every right. man is a liar. Amen? Amen. That's right. He's not a man that he should repent. Amen? That's right. So mm. they will see strength and not escapism. Mm. Last week we said you should never be known by the trials or the trails you avoid. The trials you avoid. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Your reputation should be built upon the trials that you came through. Amen. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's right. And, and Daniel and the lions then. And That's our right. Lord Jesus Christ who overcame everything. Yes. Not just the physical. We know the physical part that he went through. And that was like more than enough. Way more than enough. Right. But we don't know and we didn't understand or could see the spiritual part that he went through. And that was worse than the physical. That's that's right. Mm. It was he worse. was separated from his father. Amen. That's, that, Amen. that's where the, the mental language came from. Because exactly. he had never ever been separated, separated. from the father. Right. Mm. 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 So people will mm. be impacted by God through the testimony you give, not by the things you never had. Mm. Amen. We talked about how pseudo faith fear comes, fears failure because it sees or it fears failure because it sees failure as a sign of weakness and false faith is all about appearances. Mm. So we said, don't be afraid of failure. Wow. Mm. Don't get upset just because you didn't win. Mm. Sometimes losing is a good thing. Yeah. It tests our resolve. Yes. See, many times we learn as much or more from mistakes and failures as from our successes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. You know, you put your hand up by mistake in the fire, you're going to remember that. You'll That's never right. Make that same mistake you're not going right? to make it again. You'll never ever Amen. make it again. Mm -hmm. Or you do not paying attention and your hand is up at the door and you shut the door and shut your finger in the car door, you Ooh. remember that again too. Yeah, that's right. Because that's there. painful because I remember that. I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. Mm -hmm. Me too. Amen. So, so, like I said, many times we learn as much or more from mistakes and failures as from our successes. So be very cautious of trusting anybody who has never lost anything. Mm. For this reason, we said that testing also is a prerequisite for leadership. Mm. We mm. talked about how wow. in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 10, Paul instructed Timothy to appoint no one as leaders in the church who had not been tested. Mm. No one. Come he on, was man. talking That's specifically right about deacons, but the conditions apply equally to all would-be leaders. Mm -hmm. We said that education is no guarantee of leadership ability. Mm -hmm. What matters is faith proven through testing. Yeah. So the last mm -hmm. thing the church needs are harlings in leadership. Mm -hmm. in, chapter, in John chapter 10, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. Amen. And we read specifically verses 11 through 13 where Jesus says, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Mm. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. Mm -hmm. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. Mm. And that's going on today. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Last week we said a howling is someone who, who hired, uh, is someone hired to a position who has little or no personal or emotional interest invested. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been tested to see whether or not he has staying power. Mm -hmm. So when trouble comes, a howling abandons his post 
because he lacks any commitment beyond what is required for his paycheck. Mm. So that just tells you he's just there for the money. He's just there right. for, the money. for the check every week. That's right. So last oh. week we said that testing of faith, faithful leaders will shape their discipline and character to shepherd the people with the same spirit as their Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So we then went on to say, as we approach the end of the study of, of kingdom faith, we want to share seven key roles of kingdom faith as it relates to us in our place in the kingdom of God. Amen. Last week, we got through the first four roles. And in today's new content, we will cover the rest. Amen? Amen. Now, we said while serving as a brief review of truth, we have considered throughout this series these seven key roles we review. We'll also re-emphasize the indispensable nature of faith in kingdom life. So let's quickly review what we said about the first four roles. First, kingdom faith is how we enter the kingdom. Mm. This faith does not come from within ourselves, but as a gift by the grace and love of God. Mm -hmm. And we read what Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 4 through 10 to support this statement. He says, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. Mm. It is by grace you have been saved. Mm -hmm. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in heavenly realms, in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Amen. For it is by grace you have been saved. Are you hearing God? Yes. Mm -hmm. Through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift, gift of, of God, God, not by works so that no one can boast. Mm -hmm. For we are God's handiwork, mm -hmm. created yeah, in Christ, Christ Jesus to do good works, mm -hmm. which God prepared in advance for us to do. Yes. Amen. So without faith, it is impossible to please God. God. Let That's me say right. that again. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. This means that no one gets into the kingdom of God without faith. That's right. Mm -hmm. Second, we said kingdom faith is our source of peace in the kingdom. Are you hearing God? Yes. Like faith itself, peace comes only as a gift from the Lord. Mm -hmm. The word peace in the Hebrew means shalom. shalom. Mm -hmm. And we said shalom means wholeness and well-being, mm -hmm. health and prosperity and absence of war. Mm -hmm. Shalom is an inward sense of completeness and wholeness. Mm -hmm. Translated, this means that you are sound in your mind, right. sound in your body, mm -hmm. and sound in your spirit. Amen. You just sound all around. <laughs> shalom means that there is nothing missing nothing lacking or nothing broken in your life. Amen. Shalom means you are whole, complete, and entire in every area, in every aspect of your life. Shelah. Amen? Amen. So we said in John chapter 14, verses 27, Jesus says, Peace or shalom, I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not I give to you as the world us. gives. That's right. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Amen. How many times did Jesus tell us not don't be afraid? Many times. Many, be many, not afraid. Many, many. You know, don't be uh, afraid. That's right. Be not afraid. You know, he That's was right. always telling us don't not worry. to be afraid. Be don't be afraid. Right. That's right. Always he was what he was saying is be not afraid. Just trust in me. <coughs> mm -hmm. And have faith in me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. So in John chapter 16, verses 30. Um, three, Jesus says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. peace. In this world you will have troubles and tribulations, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Because the peace that Jesus gives does not come from the world. Mm -mm. The world does not and cannot understand it. That's mm -hmm. right. The peace of shalom that can only come from Jesus Christ is much higher, deeper, and richer and fuller than any peace the world can imagine because it is a peace that finds its source in God. Amen. Outside of God, there is no peace. Are you mm. hearing God? Come on now. Outside mm. of God, there is no peace. God is saying, outside of me, there is no peace. Mm. And we read that the Bible says, related to this, in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 6 through um, seven. It says, do not be anxious about anything, mm -hmm. but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to, to God. God. Yes. And the peace of God which transcends mm -hmm. all understanding. understanding will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Third, 
as we say in the beginning segment segment each week kingdom faith is the currency of the kingdom that's yes. right no kingdom business is transacted without it mm. How do we know this? Well, we looked at a few more places in the Bible that supports this statement. Mm -hmm. In Matthew chapter 9, Jesus encounters men who were blind, mm -hmm. and they cry out for mercy. Mm -hmm. In verse 28, Jesus asked them, Do you, you believe, believe that mm -hmm. I am able to do this? Believe. And they replied, Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. So in verse 29, he touches their eyes and said, According to your faith. What did he say? According, According to, to your faith, faith, let it be done to you. That's right. And their sight was restored. Mm. Mm. He didn't say according to me. He said That's according right. to your, your faith, faith. Because That's you right. believe I can do That's Because right. you believe I can do this, I it's can done do it. by your faith. That's right. That's right. That you, you know, it's like your faith. It's just like when he went to the towns where they criticized, like his hometown. The Bible says he could do no mighty works. Right. Because they didn't believe. Because they didn't believe. That's right. In his own hometown. And when he went to heal the little girl, yeah, um, he asked them. Tough. He said, "Why are you crying?" You know, and they said, "Because the damsel is dead." Mm -hmm. And he looked at him and said, "She's not dead. dead. She's asleep." The Bible says they laughed him to scorn. And, and you know what he did? He put them he out. Put them all up. That's Except right. Peter, you know, the ones that came along with him and the mother and the father. That's so that's right. an example for you. If you're ever in a situation where you need the faith of other believers around you, the people that don't believe, put them out. That's, that's right. right. Because their unbelief will stop you from having that's manifested right. what God is attempting to do. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. that they had to throw some people out of the boat, you know, that time <laughs> because of their... Lack of um, unbelief. The lack of belief. Belief. Belief is lack key. Of belief. It is. It is key. Mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. And then in the book of Hebrews, chapter eleven, verses six, the writer tells us this: "And without faith, it is impossible, impossible to, to please, please God, God, because anyone who comes to Him must, must believe. believe that He exists." And that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Mm -hmm. Some people don't even believe that God exists today. That's Some right. Some people don't yeah. even believe that the devil exists. Right. But they're going to find out sooner than later. So we were talking about this yesterday. So, you know, one of, you know, we're doing this, uh, the study on the doctrines of Satan. Yeah. And um, one of his names, we talk about names and how mm -hmm. the name of something is the character of it. Mm -hmm. And the character is basically what it is. Mm -hmm. So one of his names is adversary. Mm -hmm. So if you look up in the dictionary, the world's dictionary, mm -hmm. it talks, it gives you the definition of adversary, but one of the definitions it says the adversary is the devil, mm -hmm. colon, not colon, semicolon, Satan. Satan. So even the worldly dictionary defines mm -hmm. the adversary as the Satan. devil and <laughs> Satan. Yeah. So how can you see, this is the world's dictionary. This is not right. even a biblical dictionary. Mm -hmm. Come on now. You know, right. so how can you say there is no such thing right. as Satan. Exactly. And it's in a dictionary. It's in your worldly mm -hmm. dictionary. Yeah. Who put it in there? Right. Right? right? Anyway. Mm. Mm. Woo. Well, we're going to go on with that. We're going to go on. We're going to move right on. <laughs> so last week we said faith currency gives us access to the riches and resources of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Mark chapter 9, verses 23, Jesus says, Everything is possible for him who, who believes. believes. In Matthew chapter 21, verses 22, Jesus says, If, if you, you believe, believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. That's right. In Mark chapter 11, verses 24, Jesus says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you, you ask, ask for in prayer, prayer believe, believe that you have received it, and it, it will be yours. yours. Amen. And finally, we read... What the Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 through 15, it says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, mm -hmm. He hears us. Amen. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of Him. Amen? That's right. So again, we get things in the kingdom by exchanging faith for them. Amen. That's right. Fourth kingdom faith is the culture of the kingdom. That's yes. right. Last week we said the kingdom of God lives and breathes by faith. faith. Yes. Why? Because it's impossible to please God without it. That's right. So what does the scripture say? Well, it says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. That's right. In Romans chapter 1 verses 17, the apostle Paul says, for the gospel 
a righteousness from God is revealed, mm -hmm. a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written. The, the righteous, righteous or the just live will live faith. by faith. That's right. Amen. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, Paul says, we live by faith and not, not by, by sight. sight. Amen. Amen. In Galatians um, chapter 2, verses 20, Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ mm -hmm. and I no longer live. But Christ lives in me. Mm -hmm. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God mm. who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. In Galatians chapter 3, verses 11, Paul, Paul says clearly, No one is justified before God by the law mm -hmm. because the righteous will live by mm -hmm. faith. Amen. A culture without faith is not kingdom culture. Mm. Let me say that again. A culture without faith is not kingdom culture. And as we've said, without faith, there is no kingdom culture. Amen. 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 Thank you for that review. Amen. Always Amen. good. Mm, mm, mm. So now Amen. let's move into our new content for this week as we continue walking through this final subtopic of this Amen. series, which is called faith that overcomes the world. the world. Amen. So let's continue where we left off with the seven key roles of kingdom faith as it relates to us, you and I, and our place in the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 So let's go right on to the number five, which says kingdom faith is the evidence of the kingdom. Mm. So the primary way the world sees and knows the reality of the kingdom of God is through the faith of its kingdom citizens. Mm. That's you and I. In Matthew chapter five, verses 13 through 16, Jesus says, you are the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. He says, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? Mm -hmm. It said it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. Mm -hmm. Then he goes on to say, you are the light of the world. Mm -hmm. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. That's mm -hmm. right. Instead, he says, they put it on a stand mm -hmm. and it gives light to everyone in the house. He says, in the same way, let your, your light, light shine. shine before men, yes. that they may see your good deeds or your good works, and you may praise or glorify your mm -hmm. Father in heaven. And that means to reflect who he is. That's Amen. Right. That's Amen. Right. Amen. So then in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7, Paul says, for God, who said, let light shine out of darkness, mm -hmm. made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Amen. But we have this treasure, he says, in jars of clay, or the King James says, earthen vessels, mm -hmm. to show that um, all the surpassing power from God is from God and not from us. That's it's right. From him. Mm -hmm. So the faith and love we show toward God, as well as the love we show for our fellow believers, and indeed for all the people, it gives clear evidence to the world that the kingdom of God is real. Amen. Amen. Now, number six says, kingdom faith is the life of the kingdom. Amen. 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 Only in the kingdom of God do we find real life, abundant life, Amen. everlasting life, and we appropriate it by faith. Amen. Amen. So Proverbs 12, verses 20, tw verse 28 tells us, that, you know, that in the way of righteousness, what? There, there is, is life. life. Amen. Amen. And in Romans chapter 8, verse 6, Paul says, The mind of the sinful man is death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit is what? Life, Life and, and peace. peace. Amen. 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 So it's important to know and understand that faith is mm -hmm. the very lifeblood of every kingdom citizen. Amen. 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 Now, number seven says, kingdom faith creates the environment of the kingdom. Mm. And a faith-filled environment can work miracles. Amen? Amen. So when faith is present, lives are transformed, mm. which is the greatest miracle of all. Yes. A good example of what we're saying is found in the Bible. Mm. There was, um, when there was a woman who had been subject to bleeding, and we all know this story, amen, but we're going to read it again today. This, she's been bleeding for 12 years, and she came up behind Jesus and touched the edge of his cloak, or the King mm -hmm. James says, the hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. And she said to herself, if only, only, only I can but touch the hem of his garment, mm -hmm. I will be healed. So let's read this story. I'm going to ask Anisha to go for us to uh, Matthew, the book of Nat. No. Book of Matthew <laughs> chapter 9. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And let's read verses 18 to 22. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
So again, I'm reading uh, Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 through 22, and I'm reading from the NIV version today. Amen. So it says, while he was saying this, talking about Jesus, a synagogue leader came and knelt before him and said, uh-oh, was this the right one? Matthew 9. Let's see, hang on. I think this is the next one. I'm going to read it anyway. While he was saying this, a synagogue leader came mm -hmm. and knelt before him and said, my daughter just died. Yes, yeah, is right. Mm -hmm. But come and put your hand on her mm -hmm. and she will live. Mm -hmm. Jesus got up and went with him and so did his disciples. Mm -hmm. Just then, a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years mm -hmm. came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. Mm -hmm. She said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed at that moment. Amen. 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 So he, he's on his way to, 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 to deal with another situation. Mm -hmm. And as he goes his way to deal with the other situation, this other lady just... In the crowd, mm -hmm. she's basically saying, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. Yes. Amen. So again, in verse 22, it says, Jesus turned and saw her. And he said to this woman, take heart, daughter, your faith, your faith, mm -hmm. underline that in your Bibles or highlight it in your electronic Bibles. Mm -hmm. Your faith has healed you. Mm. And the Bible says that this woman was healed at that very moment. Mm. Amen. Amen. So also another example in the Bible where healing took place in a kingdom faith environment can be read in Matthew chapter 15. It's the story of a Canaanite woman. Let's read it also. So Anisha, please go to Matthew mm -hmm. 15 for us and read verses 21 to 28. Amen. Amen. So again, I'm reading from the NIV and it says, leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Mm -hmm. A Canaanite woman, listen, a Canaanite, Canaanite woman, woman, right. Okay? Don't miss it. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, mm -hmm. have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. She calls Jesus Lord. That's mm -hmm. one. And she says, son of David. Mm -hmm. That's two. Have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. My daughter is demon possessed and suffering terribly. Mm -hmm. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, Send her away, for mm -hmm. she keeps crying out after us. Mm -hmm. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Mm. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. Mm -hmm. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread, bread and toss it to the dog. She didn't mm. call him a dog. He right. called him a dog, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, Lord, she said. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Mm. Mm. Then Jesus said to her, woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. But you know, it's so much mm. like we were talking earlier. This is a lesson itself. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. And there's another example, you know, where Jesus healed somebody that was not a Jew or yes. Israelite. Yes. So you got the Canaanite woman, mm -hmm. you know, the Canaanites, they did all kind of pagan worship. Right. But she called him Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. She called him son of David, which, you know, the prophecy was that, that David's throne would, would, would be eternal. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she knew he was the son of David. Mm -hmm. She also probably heard this, the, 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 the stories of the, the prophecy of the Messiah. Yes. You know, Isaiah said he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And, and by his stripes we were healed. Yes. So she knew he could do all of this stuff. And she mm -hmm. was not a Jew. Exactly. She said, even the dogs eat the crumbs from the master's table. table. Amen. 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 So let's read it again. Drive it in your spirit. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman. Don't mm -hmm. miss it. From the vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon possessed and suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came mm. to him and urged him, send her away for she keeps crying out to us. He answered, mm. I was only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Mm -hmm. The woman came and knelt before him. She didn't care what he said. He, she said, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. 
He replied, it is not right to give the children's bread, speaking of the Israelites, because he's already said, I've only sent for the lost sheep of Israel. Mm -hmm. He said, it's not right to take the children's bread and mm -hmm. toss it to the dogs, mm -hmm. those that are outside the family. Mm -hmm. She said, yes, it is, Lord. She said, even the dogs, smart. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall under the master's table. Mm -hmm. So her belief that he could do this regardless of her well, background was, and who she right. was. Mm -hmm. She said, Lord, even the dogs eat the crumbs from the master's table. And what did Jesus say? He said, woman, you yes, have great, great faith. faith. Mm -hmm. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that very moment. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at a few more examples of faith-filled stories in the Bible where kingdom faith created an environment for miracles to happen. In the book of Mark chapter 10, there's a story about a man named Bartimaeus who was mm -hmm. blind. Let's read it as well. I'm going to ask Aaron to go to Mark chapter 10 and read verses 46 to 52. Amen. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mark 10, 46 to 52. Amen. Amen. Blind Bartimaeus receives his sight. Mm -hmm. Then they came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples Together with a large crowd were leaving the city. A blind man, Bartimaeus, which means son of T Timaeus, Timaeus uh -huh. was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, mm -hmm. son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him, be quiet. <laughs> but he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called to the blind man, cheer up, on your feet, he's calling you. Mm. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped up to his feet and came to Jesus. So Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? Mm -hmm. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Mm -hmm. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and follow Jesus along the road. Amen. So they trying to tell him to shut up. Mm -hmm. Pretty be much. quiet. But he yeah. was like determined. And yes. you know, that's that meant he believed that it could happen. Mm -hmm. That's right. So again, the story says, then they came to Jericho. And Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leaving a city. A blind man named Bartimaeus, which means son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside doing what? Begging. Begging. Somebody did a search. <laughs> no, I don't want to go there. It was a series of years, many, many years ago, somebody did a series called Blind People Beg. But, you know, I don't think the person had the full knowledge of, of what this meant. But anyway, mm -hmm. when, we, when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mm -hmm. mercy on me. And many rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But he got even louder and shouted even more, Jesus, mm -hmm. son of David, mm -hmm. have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called the blind man. They told him, cheer up on your feet. He's calling you. So the man threw his cloak aside. and He jumped up to his feet and came to Jesus. So Jesus said to him, what do you want for me to do? What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said, Rabbi. I want to see. Mm. So Jesus said, go. What? Your faith, your faith mm -hmm. has healed you. He didn't say, I healed you. Mm -hmm. He said, your faith has healed you. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Now Bartimaeus knew beyond the shadow of a doubt that Jesus could heal him. Mm -hmm. Even when they tried to tell him to shut up, be quiet, he shouted even, even louder. louder. Jesus, right. mm -hmm. son of David. Mm -hmm. Here we go. King David's throne would be established forever. Mm -hmm. And the prophecy that the Messiah is coming through the line of David. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He said, have mercy on me. Mm -hmm. It was his belief, or should I say his faith in the kingdom of God. Because what did Jesus say? Repent. Mm -hmm. Because the kingdom of God, heaven is here. Mm -hmm. That's right. The kingdom of heaven is here. That's what he preached. Mm -hmm. That's right. So he, he had faith in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And that created the environment for his healing. Mm. Now, this is for you. Did you know that miracles are simply the evidence of the presence of the manifestation of the kingdom of God in the earth? Mm -hmm. mm. It's a question. So the question becomes, what is evidence? And you know the answer. The answer in this scenario is that miracles are the proof 
or the confirmation that the kingdom of God is here in the mm-hmm. earth mm-hmm. now. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. And the kingdom government is greater than any earthly government. Yes. There's nothing too hard or impossible mm-hmm. to the king of heaven. That's right. There's nothing too hard for him to do. Amen. 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 Now, a final story we'll look at where kingdom faith created an environment for healing is found in the book of Acts chapter mm-hmm. 14. In verses 8 through 10, it tells a story about a man in Lystra who was crippled in his feet. He mm-hmm. was lame from birth and he never walked. Mm-hmm. Now the story goes on to say that this man listened mm-hmm. to Paul as Paul was preaching or mm-hmm. teaching or speaking. Remember faith comes by hearing, right? That's mm-hmm. right. And Paul looked directly at him and saw that he had faith to be healed and called him out. He tells the man, stand up on your feet. Mm-hmm. And at that, the man jumped up and began mm-hmm. to walk. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Now this is, is evidence of the presence of a greater government on the earth. Mm. It's called the kingdom of heaven's government, overruling your earthly circumstances. Mm, mm, Remember mm, the king mm, of mm. heaven is named Adonai, which means master Lord. He is the one with the highest authority. Yes. He can overrule any situation or circumstance you may encounter in life by the authority of his word mm-hmm. yes. and your faith to trust and believe him Amen. as your source. Amen. Right. Amen. As Paul says in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17, faith comes by what? Hearing. Hearing. And hearing by whose word? The, the word, word of God. God. Amen. Right. Amen. So our belief rises under the environment of faith, which mm-hmm. is how we become active citizens in the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. We don't get things done from God. We don't get things from God just because we claim to believe God, mm-hmm. but we get things from God because we believe God. Did Amen. you hear that? There's Amen. a difference. Amen. The difference mm-hmm. often hinges on the presence of or absence of tests. Mm-hmm. We don't truly come to know and believe God until we go through a living hell. Mm. Mm. Now think about it. Mm. Think about what we just said. It is when we are stripped of all of our own resources, when we are at the end of our rope, that Mm -hmm. we discover the all-sufficiency of God, El Shaddai, the many-breasted and the all-sufficient one. We've been there. Amen? Amen? Remember, he needs no help from anyone. He is the almighty and the most high God. He is Abba. He is our source and our, our supplier. supplier. Yes. And once again, he is who? Adonai, mm-hmm. Master Lord, mm-hmm. the one with the highest authority. Amen. 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 Now, again, kingdom faith overcomes the world. Mm-hmm. So as long as you have faith, you are still in the game of life. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have a lot of faith, but you have faith, you, you know, you know, and, it, and it, you, oh, excuse me, and you don't have to have a lot of faith. Let me mm-hmm. say that again. You don't have to have a lot of faith, mm-hmm. but this is the key. Your faith has to it be real. real. Yes. Even the tiniest bit of genuine faith can do unbelievable things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do we know this? Well, in the book of Luke chapter 17, verse five and six, the apostles asked Jesus what? Lord, increase Himself. our faith. <laughs> and he replied, if you have faith mm-hmm. as small as, he said, a grain of mustard seed. Mm-hmm. Now, mustard mm-hmm. seed is small it's enough small. by itself. He right. says, a grain of mustard seed. Mm-hmm. Right. You can say what? To this mulberry tree, be uprooted, planted in the sea, and it will obey you. Amen. Amen. Another example is found in the book of Mark chapter 11. Let's read that as well. Anisha, go for us to... Mark chapter 11, verses 12 through 24. 24. Amen. 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 Again, I'm reading Mark chapter 11, verses Mm -hmm. 12 to 24. Amen. It says, the next day as they were leaving Bethany, Jesus was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. Mm -hmm. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season for figs. Mm -hmm. Then he said to the tree, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. Mm -hmm. And his disciples heard him say it. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temples and into the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling Mm it, selling there. Mm -hmm. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. 
The chief priests and the teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him. Mm. For they feared him because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. Mm. So when evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. And in the morning, as they went along, they saw the fig tree that Jesus had talked to the day before mm -hmm. withered from the roots. Peter remembered and said to Jesus, Rabbi, mm -hmm. look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, have faith, faith in God. God. Mm -hmm. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, mm. throw yourself into the sea, mm. and does not doubt in their heart, mm. but believes what they say will happen, mm -hmm. it will be done for them. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, believe that you have received it, mm -hmm. and it will be yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, mm -hmm. forgive them. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Mm -hmm. So that your Father in heaven may forgive, forgive you. you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So again, in verses 20 through to 24, it says, Jesus said what? Have faith in God. He says, I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt, in his heart but believes that what he says will happen it will be done for him amen he says therefore i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it mm. will be yours mm. amen yeah. now have you seen any trees or mountains uprooted and thrown into the sea lately mm. probably not no nope. mm. so what does that say about the equality of our, our quality of our faith today mm. sila Mm, mm, Pause mm. and calmly think about that. Mm. Wow. As these verses indicate, the size of your faith is not the issue. Mm -hmm. Okay? The presence of it is. Mm. Just the tiniest grain of genuine, unreserved, no holds bar faith in God is all it takes mm. to move a mountain, whether mm -hmm. that mountain is a mountain of ill health a mountain of financial hardship, mm -hmm. a mountain of criticism and opposition, mm -hmm. or a mountain of unemployment. Whatever Amen. your mountain, all you need to move it is a grain of pure faith, mm. the tiniest penny of kingdom currency. Yes. Yes. Can you see now how the Bible says that our faith will overcome the world? Right. Yes. So listen to the voice of God. Mm. He is saying, the size of your mountain isn't the issue. The magnitude of your test, you faith, isn't the issue. Mm. The issue is this. Do you believe me? That's, right. mm. That's what he's saying. Yeah. If you can honestly answer yes to that question, then get ready to see the mountains in your life move mm -hmm. as never before. Mm. Mm. It may not be today or tomorrow or even a year from now, but remember this. Moving day will come. Amen. In God's own time and the, <clears throat> in his way, it will come. Amen. Kingdom mm. faith does what overcomes the world amen. and it's guaranteed amen amen now let's read one final place that supports this truth i'm going to ask aaron to go with uh for us to first john chapter mm -hmm. five read verses one through five amen amen first john chapter five verses one through five amen amen, mm -hmm. <clears throat> amen. okay faith in the son of god mm-hmm Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. Mm -hmm. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. Mm -hmm. In fact, this is love for God. In fact, in, in fact, this is love for God to keep his commands. Mm -hmm. And his commands are not burdensome. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that he, that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. 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 So let's read that again to drive it into your spirit. Verses 4 and 5 says, For everyone born of God does what? overcomes the, the world, world. Mm -hmm. this is the victory that has overcome the world even our, our faith, faith. Amen. amen then he asks a question who is it that overcomes the world and the answer he says is only he who believes that jesus 
is the Son of God. Amen. 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 Mm. Now, as we have come to the end of this subtopic called Faith That Overcomes the World, let's review the principles covered during our discussion. First, faith is how we enter the kingdom. Yes. Next, kingdom faith is our source of peace in the kingdom. Mm. Kingdom faith is what? The, the currency, currency of the kingdom, the right. money, the dough, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. The bread. The, the bread. bread. <laughs> kingdom faith is the evidence Amen. of the kingdom. Yes. Remember, we're evidence, mm -hmm. the evidence of the presence Amen. of the greater government. Kingdom faith is the life of the kingdom. Mm. Kingdom faith creates the environment of the kingdom. Amen. And finally, kingdom faith overcomes the world guaranteed amen. amen amen so now we have actually come to the end of this series as we said in the beginning we've come to the end of this series called the purpose and power of kingdom faith mm -hmm. we want to remind you of some of the life lessons we hope that you've taken away from our discussions now in this book if you want to hold it up for me Nisha, mm -hmm. dr miles writes several things in the conclusion of this book and we want to share it with you as well amen mm -hmm. for amen. those of you that are not reading the book but following along in this series amen. we want to make sure you get every nugget mm -hmm. amen so first he says life will always be filled with mysteries and questions we cannot answer mm. he says we will face tests circumstances and situations that challenge the very core of our confidence and stability he goes on to say that there will be times when we encounter moments of fear, despair, hopelessness, and confusion that will give birth to doubt that renders us helpless and immobilized. He says life will bring us unexpected and the unbelievable sending shock waves through our traditional convictions and causing us even to wonder if there really is a living creator who cares about our plight mm. or our predicament. Mm. So in this book, Dr. Miles also says, life will many times hit us from the blind side with obstacles and pressures that have no pattern. In essence, he says, for each of us, life is an early journey that comes without a map. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? It does not come with a map. Does it not does not come without a map, mm -hmm. amen. So then he goes on to say, we were created to live by trust and explore the unknown with the compass of guidance, compass or guidance of faith. Mm -hmm. So to live effectively on this earth, we must accept the fact that we will have, we will face opportunities to doubt amen. and that everything we believe will be challenged. Mm -hmm. This is the nature of life. And as you and I live on this planet, tests and trials will be common and normal. Mm. Yeah. If we accept the reality of these trials and tests as the nature of life on the earth, then you will neither be disappointed nor overwhelmed when they come. Amen. In fact, the best weapon against trials is to see them as tools in the hands of a skillful sculptor with a capital S, mm -hmm. dedicated to the task of unveiling from the block of your existence, mm -hmm. a perfected image of the real you. Wow. wow. So I challenge you, mm -hmm. he says, mm -hmm. to trust the divine sculptor, mm -hmm. capital S, mm -hmm. the creator himself, the potter, mm -hmm. yes. and have faith in his vision of who you really are. Amen? Amen. Amen. And then Dr. Miles ends the book by saying, may you live life that embraces the spirit of the words of the great first century apostle James, who declared mm -hmm. this, consider it pure joy mm -hmm. bold and underlined mm -hmm. consider it pure joy my mm -hmm. brothers whenever you face trials of many kinds because you mm -hmm. know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance or patience yes. then he says patience must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything mm -hmm. amen. amen and this can be found in the book of james chapter 1 verses 2 through mm -hmm. 4 then he says, blessed is the man who perseveres under trial, because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Now, this can be found in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 12. Hmm. Dr. Miles then goes on to encourage you, encourage you and I. He says, mm -hmm. be inspired even by the words of the greater patriot of the church, Peter, who reiterates the same sentiments in his statement when he says, in this you greatly rejoice, mm -hmm. though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief of all kinds of trials. Mm. These have come so what? That your faith 
of greater worth than gold, which mm -hmm. the gold itself, even purged, even through the though it's refined by the fire, mm -hmm. may be proved genuine. Mm -hmm. Your faith may be proved genuine and may result in the praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. And this can be found in the book of First Peter, chapter one, verses six and seven. Mm -hmm. And also the beloved apostle John further injects this spirit of faith, giving you and me the secret to overcoming every mm -hmm. obstacle in life. And we mm -hmm. just read this. He says, and any of his commandments, he says, are not burdensome. Mm -hmm. For everyone born of God does what? Oh, Overcomes oh, the world. The world. That's right. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Mm -hmm. And this we just read in 1 John chapter 5. This is specifically verses 3 and 4. Mm -hmm. And finally, um, he talks about how the writer of the book of Hebrews sums it up in these words. Mm -hmm. He says what? My righteous one will live by faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he who shrinks back, listen, hmm. and he who shrinks back, I will not be pleased with him. Wow. This is in the book of wow. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. Hmm. And then what we all know, and without faith, it is impossible to please mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Because anyone who comes to him must believe, that believe he mm -hmm. that he exists and that he rewards those who diligently or earnestly seek him. Yes. And this can be found in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, mm. verse six. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Miles goes on to encourage you and I by saying he challenges us to be faith-filled kingdom citizens. Amen. Amen. He goes on to say, may you rise to every occasion and face the future with confidence that intimidates trials, mm -hmm. embarrasses the skeptics, yes. and knowing that nothing can stop the power of your belief. Amen. Amen. And then he says, may you live by this motto, when in doubt, have, have faith. faith. Amen. Be always mindful that you have the image and nature of your creator, yes. a nature that is fearless, bold, and stronger than death and life. Amen. He says, as you believe, mm. you win. As long as you believe, you win. Amen. So he says, protect your capacity to believe, knowing that everything except your destiny He's is temporary. Right. Yes. Come he on, says, man. doubt is not an option. Faith is a necessity. Live and walk daily by kingdom faith. Mm -hmm. And then he says, and we will see you on the other side of your trials. Amen. 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 Now, mm -hmm. well, we're going to end on this note. Wow. Amen. Next week, we begin a next book in the series, and it is called Overcoming Crisis. And we're going to title our series Overcoming Crisis as Citizens of God's Kingdom. Mm. Amen. So for those of you that want to follow along with us in this next series, go mm -hmm. ahead and get your book called Overcoming Crisis by Dr. Miles Monroe. Amen. Yeah. And you can probably get books anywhere. I mean, mm -hmm. we get a lot of ours directly from Monroe Global, and mm -hmm. there's a website there. But I've gotten a lot of them through Amazon as well. So mm -hmm. Overcoming Crisis is the next one. And we're going to title it Overcoming Crisis as Citizens of God's Kingdom. Amen. 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 So remember to join us again on next Sunday at 3 p.m. as mm -hmm. we continue to rediscover life as citizen of God's kingdom living in the earth. Amen. Mm -hmm. It is for those, those who, who choose. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Good yes. book. Yeah. It's a very yes, good. Yeah. This was a gr good series. Yeah, All of them are. All like, of them. Yeah. Yeah. Each one of them build on. So we've already, so we've talked about the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, the governor of the kingdom living mm -hmm. in us. Yes. Right? Yes. He's the power of the kingdom. Yes. Then we talked about prayer and petitioning, mm -hmm. how you activate and manifest heaven's power in the earth. Mm -hmm. Then we've talked about faith because you need faith to one, believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yes. You need faith to pray and believe that when you pray according to God's will, you're gonna, he's gonna do what he says. That's, That's right. right. And now we're gonna talk about how to apply mm -hmm. all of these things we've learned mm -hmm. as and a citizen crisis. in overcoming, overcoming crisis. crisis. Because the yeah. reality is God's, Jesus says what? In this world, we've read this all, you shall, you you shall have, have trouble. He says, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That's right. That's right. Then in James, he says, consider it pure joy. Mm -hmm. Pure. I said, I remember, I'll never forget it. I'm like, pure joy, God. Pure joy is what you want to mm -hmm. consider it pure joy when you fall into trials and tests mm -hmm. of many times. Yes. Knowing that the trying of your faith works patience. patience. Mm -hmm. Then he says, let's have her perfect, perfect work. work. Perfect That's work. Right. So what? 
you are mature mm -hmm. and complete and lacking nothing. That's right. So you're going to have trials. You're going to have crisis. Mm -hmm. But the key is you're a citizen of the kingdom. Amen. And kingdom faith and kingdom citizens overcome the world. Amen. 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 Now, for those of you who are watching with us and who desire to be cleansed by the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. forgiven of your sin, mm -hmm. and reconciled to God's family and restored unto your kingdom citizenship authority mm -hmm. in the earth, guess what? Mm -hmm. This new life has been made available to you through the Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. So now, if you choose this life today... Please join me now in this prayer Amen. and repeat after me. Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus the Christ. Mm. You said in your word that he who comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. Amen. Therefore, I know you won't cast me out, mm. but instead you take me in. Yes. So I thank you, Heavenly Father, for taking me in. Yes. You also said in your word, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm. Yes. Heavenly Father, as I call upon your name, I thank you for saving me. Yes. Amen. You said if I will confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead, mm. I will be saved. Mm -hmm. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Yes. Therefore, Heavenly Father, I confess this day with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord. Mm -hmm. I believe in my heart that Jesus has raised from the dead for my justification. And now, because of this, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, Heavenly Father, you also said, how much more shall you give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? Mm -hmm. Therefore, I am asking you to please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Father, I also thank you for baptizing me in your Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Now, fill me to the point of overflowing. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Now, if you just prayed this prayer with me, you are now cleansed by the blood of Jesus from sin and unrighteousness. Amen. You are now reconciled or reconciled unto your heavenly Father as his Son. Mm -hmm. You are now filled with the Holy Spirit of Christ, and you are now restored unto your kingdom citizenship authority with the power and the authority to reign and rule in this life. So welcome back to the family of God. Amen. 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 And I challenge you to begin dominating in life by the power of the Holy Spirit living in you mm -hmm. and the authority given to you to dominate in life by Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Also, if you prayed this prayer with us today, please feel free to let us know in the comments or you can send us a message directly, mm -hmm. especially if you would like for someone to follow up with you. Amen? Amen. 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 Now, let's move into our open forum discussion. Are there any questions from our audience? Now's the time if you have questions to please place them in the comments section. Amen? Amen. 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 Do we have questions? Yes. The first question is, what opportunities would you recommend to cultivate your faith? Basically, <laughs> so uh, oh, I was about to say, life is going to give you opportunities to cultivate yeah. your faith. I mean, mm -hmm. the things that you go through daily are opportunities, yeah. you yes. know, to cultivate your faith. Mm -hmm. All right. So every situation and circumstance that you encounter is an opportunity to cultivate your faith, especially mm -hmm. as God says, you're going to have trouble. Mm -hmm. Any trouble, and everybody has trouble, mm -hmm. any of those trouble scenarios that you go through are going to be opportunities to cultivate your faith. Mm -hmm. And what you do in those scenarios is when the opportunity presents itself, mm -hmm. you know, it may seem like it's an impossible situation, mm -hmm. but the key is, what does God say about it in mm -hmm. his word? Yes. He says in Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, I think it's... um. 43rd chapter verse uh, verse 26 
somewhere around 25 and 26. He says, he says, command ye me. Mm -hmm. He says, put me in remembrance of my word. He says, state your case mm -hmm. so that you might be justified. So the, the key is you can't look at this, the trouble you're going through from a religious standpoint. Mm -hmm. You've got to look at it as you being a citizen of a country and a government. And so when you petition him, when you come, he says, command me, put me in remembrance, he, you are petitioning him in accordance with his word, which is his law. Mm -hmm. And when you petition him, think of it as you're petitioning the high courts of heaven based on the rights of that government, that that government has made to you as a citizen. And when you command him in accordance with his will and his word, he says, I hear you. Mm -hmm. He says, because you know that I hear you, your petitions have been granted. So the key is you have to know what God says yeah. in his word, what yeah, God has it. promised That's you right. yes. regarding your situation mm -hmm. and circumstance. If it's healing, mm -hmm. what did he say about healing? That's he says, right. I am the Lord your God who healeth thee. Heal yes. He says the Messiah was what? He mm -hmm. was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised yes. for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. He says, and with his stripes, we, are healed. we are healed. That's right. What did Jesus do? Mm -hmm. The Bible says he healed every kind of sickness and disease. Yes. So you go to him in accordance with his word. That's right. You go to him boldly. Mm -hmm. You go to him with a righteous indignation, just like the, Can the Canaanite woman, you know, she was not a Jewish person, mm -hmm. but she knew you know, she knew that Jesus could do what she was asking him to That's do. Right. That's right. But then there's another story about the woman and the unjust judge. Mm -hmm. Yes. She knew what she had a right to. Exactly. And she did not give up on him until he gave her what was her due. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She says, give me justice. Give me what I am rightfully, what rightfully belongs to me. And the Bible says that that unjust judge who didn't care about God, mm -hmm. he didn't or fear God, man. and he nope. didn't keep fear man. He says, but I'm going to give her what she wants yeah, unless she wear me out. That's right. right. That's right. That's so right. the bottom line is every trouble opportunity that you encounter will be an <clears throat> opportunity to cultivate your faith. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. right. The key mm -hmm. is to trust and believe in the word of the king. That's right. That's right. Petition the king mm -hmm. in accordance with his word. Like he said in the book of Jeremiah, he says, I watch over my word mm -hmm. to perform it. That's I hasten right. it to be fulfilled. And knowing his word is important. Yes. But also as you're going through that, yes. make sure that you're following and making his word your choice. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because a lot of times what happened with me was, as I was going through trials and tribulations, I was like, man, Seem like I've been through this before. Like mm. it was days of view. But it wasn't that. It was that I had just taught that. Yeah. <laughs> and God was allowing me to go through what I taught to see if I was going to do what I was, uh, what you was what taught. teaching. That's right, right. And right. glory be to God, thanks to God. And I'm just sharing this with you, that at that time, I made the right choice That's to right. do what his word said. That's right. So it's not just about you. It's important that you know God's word. Mm -hmm. But as you're going through that time, it's very important. It's imperative that you make the right choice. That's yes. true. You know, that you, because you can either go with the flesh or you can go with God. The Bible says there's only two ways of thinking. The Bible says you can think carnally minded, which is worldly or fleshly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or you can think spiritually minded which is of god in mm -hmm. his kingdom that's right the bible says if you think carnally minded is death it's that's death. right he tells you straight on out it's death if yeah. you're carnally minded if you operate according to this world it's death which is operating according to the devil that's he right says, but if you operate um according to the spirit it's, it's life, life and, and peace, peace. and right. then he turns around and tells you if you walk in the spirit then you oh, shall not, not fulfill, fulfill the lust of the flesh. flesh and that's so important because you know what this flesh is rough this flesh wants to do what it wants to do. It mm -hmm. wants to kick and scream. It's like when you go through those crazy situations, the first thing you want to do is cry out. You want to scream. When you're in pain, mm -hmm. you know, you don't feel like doing what. Your body doesn't feel like doing what we're telling you. Right. Mm -hmm. But the key is, like he just said, you walk according to the spirit. You will mm -hmm. not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Right. Yes. Because the flesh, the flesh is not going to yield the benefits. Mm hmm or the the, 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 the the rights that God has given you. Amen. 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 Mm. Amen. Thank you for that question. Mm. 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 Amen. You have Amen. another one? Okay. okay. <clears throat> what is a simple definition for faith? Believe. Mm -hmm. Write this down. That's it. B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E. <laughs> right. Believe, Believe. No matter what. What God says That's that right. he will do. And trusting and his trust. word. That's trust. right. This, the main thing is trusting in his word and believing in his word wholeheartedly. Because you can do exploits 
after receiving God's word that you couldn't do before mm -hmm. receiving his word. Right. Remember Peter, when Jesus was walking on the water, mm -hmm. and Peter said, Lord, if that's you, bid me to come. To come. When did Jesus say, come? come on. He couldn't have walked on the water before that. Right. But after Jesus gave him the word, he was empowered to come. But what did Peter do? He started walking on the water. He started walking on the water. So you can do exploits after receiving God's word that and you believing. could not do before. Right. And believing, which is faith, having faith in his word. But what yeah. happened to Peter? I was about to say, as soon but as he then, took his eyes off he Jesus, he started looking his, his eyes off the Lord. And he's like, he began oh, to sing. oh, Lord. Right. But what did I'm he do? I'm out here on this water. Yeah. I'm starting right. to sing. I don't really believe I'm doing this. And he right. started sinking. He's but sinking. that's why you got to get the unbelievers out of your circle. <laughs> that's right. That's what you we know? were talking about earlier. Yeah. Got to get them out your circle. And again, that's why you have to walk in the spirit because you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. As long as he was walking in the spirit, believing that he could do what Jesus did, he was able to walk on the water. But when he began to start operating in the flesh, looking, saying, oh, man, what am, I'm walking on water. Mm -hmm. This is nobody walked on the water before. Right. And then he started sinking. He started right. looking around at his environment. But even if that happens, what did Peter do? He said, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. And what did the Lord do? He reached out and saved him. Yep. And so he had to walk. If God saved him, he had to walk back on the water <laughs> right. with God to the boat. Come on now. That's right. Right. You know, That's right. He didn't just drag him in the water. <laughs> I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't. Amen. Amen. Thank you so. for that question. Any more? Um, a comment, I guess. In a prayer request, it says, Good afternoon. Pray for me and my babies. My daughter had close contact at school and I can't afford food due to losing my job. I am new here. I guess she's a new uh, watcher. And we will be praying for Amen. you. Amen. 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 We Amen. will be praying for you. We're going to look at that comment and, and get your name specifically. And we Amen. will continue to hold you before the Lord. Amen. 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 Mm. Mm. Um, the next one just came in. Depressed. <laughs> Where do you get your teaching material from? <clears throat> from the book. Dr. Miles Monroe. You know, Dr. we're not being super deep with spiritual here. No. Um, our charge by God was that for those who choose life in accordance with his word, that they will have ample opportunity to learn how to live life according to his original concepts and precepts. Yes. And we know foundationally that that is his kingdom government established in the hearts and the minds of people to the point that people take on his culture, his nature, his morals, his standards, and his values so that earth becomes a mirror reflection of heaven with heaven's government reigning and ruling throughout the entire earth. Amen. And we have found no other teacher who has done the in-depth research. Yes. Like Dr. Kingdom. Miles Monroe yes. in the kingdom. Yes. Yes. So we use his materials mm -hmm. as our teaching materials, which is why we show you the books. Mm -hmm. Because we know as teachers, they're teachers. I'm a trainer. There's a little difference. But we know that people learn differently. Some people learn by what they hear. Mm -hmm. Some people learn by what they see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you, wanna, if you are one of those seers and you need to read the book yourself, mm -hmm. we're telling you how to get it. But if you're one that learns best by what you hear, mm -hmm. that's why we do what we do. Amen. And there's no greater teacher on the kingdom, according to God's original concepts and precepts, than, the, than Dr. Miles Monroe. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. And I think that's dedicated to him because he grew up in the kingdom. Exactly. And so he, he had a knowledge style. of what so a kingdom exactly. is and how it operates. Exactly. How it really operates, and, you know. And that's another thing. Some people are... Uh, learn by what they hear. Some people learn by what they see, but some people they, are kinesthetic, kinesthetic tactile. They, learn, they have to do it. Yeah. Yes. Some are multiplicity. They have to see it, they have to do it, or they have to hear it, Amen. and they have to do it. You right. Know? But everybody's different. So our vision one day is that we'll be able to establish a training center where you can have the opportunity to learn in all of these manners. You can mm -hmm. hear it, you can see it, you can do it. Where That's we would right. have separate classrooms where you can come in and you would have ex exercises to do. We do a study on Saturdays as well with a very small group. It's in person, mm -hmm. but we do it via teleconference and it's very interactive where people are there and can communicate. We communicate back and forth. So that works tremendously well as, as well. So mm -hmm. continue to pray for us. 
-hmm. We know that God has already charged us with this work, and we know that the provision is there to do exactly what he's told us to do. Amen. And that's, Amen. And that's the reason that we come to church. Amen. We hear it, that's and right. we're supposed to do it. That's we come right. to church for the perfecting of, of the, the saints. saints. That's we right. come to church to get a word from a man of God and or a woman mm -hmm. of God, and you're to take that word and perfect your life or change your life that's right. according to the word that you hear. That's right. Otherwise, it's lineal. It's a waste of time. Come if on you now. come to church every Sunday and on Wednesdays and on Thursdays, to hear the word, but not being what God's word is telling you to do, then you're wasting your time. That's right. You know, that's why Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not, and not do, do the things I that I that's say? Right. That's right. That's right. Amen. You have to do what God's word says, and then you will be prosperous. And you have to be obedient mm -hmm. to God's word, because obedience is God's plan to reward and bless our lives. And like I said many times before, Partial obedience is really total, total disobedience. disobedience. Amen. 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 So thank you for that question. Amen. Once again, Dr. Miles Monroe. I wish you could see we have a library here um, of his teachings. Mm -hmm. um, at, one, at some point. This is a small portion of it. At yeah. some point, we're going to, you know, he, he, I think he became very well known before his Kingdom series mm -hmm. on his purpose and potential mm -hmm. books. Mm -hmm. You know, I know that that's what really opened my eyes. And so at some point, you know, one day we're going to get to do what we call the purpose and potential track. Amen. At one point, we're going to get to do what we call the family track because he does the purpose of the male, mm -hmm. the purpose of the Amen. female. For all of the men out there, there mm -hmm. he's an exceptional book called The Fatherhood Principle. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is a that should be a, a, a book in every male's library. The fatherhood principle. The, the reason why we like his teaching so much is because he teaches them from a standpoint of principles. Mm -hmm. You know, not a religious standpoint, a, 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 a principle base. And principles are standards that do not change. That's mm -hmm. right. And he, he, he he's done the in-depth research in each one of these areas mm -hmm. to become an authority to teach them which is why the Lord allowed him to come home because he had completed his assignment. Amen. He has like 72 books out there translated in I don't know how many languages. Mm -hmm. Right. But all of them are very good, and they're all foundationally based on the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 One more? Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for that question again. Amen. Thank you. They're talking about the Bible. Some say it's a religious book. I say the Bible is a legal document. What do you say? We believe what you say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it is not a religious book. Mm -hmm. A testament is not a religious term. No, it's not. It is a legal term. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible is a constitution. That's but, right. But not only that, the Bible is about a king mm -hmm. and his kingdom. And, and you read through, family. and his family, family, we his children. The kingdom is a government. And so what happens is most people, especially those of us living in the Western world, we live in these democratic societies. We don't really have a true concept of what a kingdom is. Mm -hmm. yes. Kingdom is a government. Right. Yes. It's a government ruled by a king. That's yes. Right. And so if you have no concept of kingdoms, you're not there you're not understanding what you're reading about the Bible. Yes. It is not a book of religion. Jesus mm -hmm. says what? Isaiah prophesied, Isaiah nine and six. He says what? For unto us a child is born mm -hmm. For unto I'm us a son, son is given. Yeah. So we know who that was, right? Mm -hmm. And what did they say? What did he say he was bringing on his shoulder? A, a government. A government. Mm -hmm. Not a religion, a government. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jesus says what? Repent, because the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes. Which means it's here. Yes. The kingdom is a government. Yes. He didn't say he bought a religion called Christianity. Mm -hmm. He didn't say he bought a religion called Judaism. He now. didn't say he bought a religion called, you know, Islamic, Muslim. He didn't bring a religion. That word religion means to search. Mm -hmm. So you are, everybody's looking for the kingdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so as you look for the kingdom, you get in religion because you're searching. Mm -hmm. But when you find the kingdom, like Jesus said, all the other pearls you get rid of because That's you right. found, found the, the pearl. One. The That's most right. important one. Right. Amen. The most valuable one. That's Amen. Right. So we Amen. believe what you believe. The kingdom, the Bible is about a king. Mm -hmm. His kingdom and his royal family. Amen. A king rules a government. Amen? Amen. Amen. A kingdom is a government. Amen. We are children of the Most High King. Amen? Amen. Living life in this earth under heaven's, heaven's jurisdiction. jurisdiction. The king says we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who loves us. 
The king tells you in Psalms 8 that you are a dominator. He says, I've made you to have what? Dominion, dominion mm -hmm. over the work of my hands and have placed all things in the earth under your authority. Amen. This is mm -hmm. kingdom language. This has nothing to do with religion. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Thank you Thank for you that for question. question. Yes. This is yes. great. Mm -hmm. Amen. Any more? Amen. Amen. Thank you all very much for your questions today. Amen. 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 So if you've missed any of our prior sessions from our Sunday series, we strongly urge you to go back and watch them all. They're saved on our Facebook page. You can also access them from our website, which is www.ftwcinc.org. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all of our videos there. Remember to join us each Sunday at 3 p.m. for continued studies. May you be transformed by the renewing of your mind yes. so that you will know the good, acceptable, and perfect, perfect will, will of God. God. Amen. 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 Now the final thing we want to remind you of today, and that is Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Amen. God bless you. See you all be next blessed. week. See you Amen. Next, see you next Sunday. Amen.